And we're back, Nocturnal Duck here with a brand new brew just for you. And what do we have today? We have all of the legends, all the legends coming together. We have Lazav, we have Atatra, we have Kethis. Yes, all of them. So what are we trying to do with all these legends I speak of? We've got all the legends, we're bringing them together, but how are we going to use them? Well, basically, we're trying to get our Etatra and our Lazav combo, and we all can remember the guild's deck that we built with these two. It was a surveil shell, basically you were trying to surveil everything to the graveyard, mainly Etatra, and then use Lazav to copy Etatra and swing in, and that was how you were winning the game, that was the whole build. We've, I feel like everyone has had a go of this, but then we all forgot about a toucher so I'm bringing her back and I have been trying to do a bit of a build I've built a number of shells around this combo and the best one I've found is with this Kethis combo deck right so Kethis combo if you haven't seen it it's pretty stupid it just loops and loops and loops and wins you the game but a touch is legendary so first of all she fits straight in so it does crazy stupid shenanigans inc by including it but it's just doubles down on our win condition so we're not trying to just only kethis combo and win and the way you would kethis combo and win normally is with oath of kaya mox amber and kethis so if you have that going you can just loop and loop and loop and constantly do three damage and gain three life and it just wins the game. They kind of sit there forever until you do, and then you win. But that's not our main win con. That's there in case we want it, and possibly more aimed towards the back end of the match. We don't want to be going turn three, Kethis. That's not what this is. The Kethis combo deck, you kind of want it to do that. Now, it is a four color deck, but Kethis is the only card, oh, well, Othakai and Kethis is the only cards that have white, so those ones kind of make it harder to try and go three colors on turn three. But it does eve that headache by having this a touch of combo be our main win con because, like I mentioned, we kind of want this to happen later game when we have our graveyard full of targets so we can trigger him and win with that single trigger potentially. So the main things I've changed out of the Kethis combo is I've dropped two Othakais, two Ashioks, and I've sort of filled them up with the Atatra, and then I've got two Druidic Vow. This thing is crazy crazy bonkers it's in the six drop slot because you don't want to cast it for anything less as you, let's just say we cast it for six we're going to look at the top four cards and put all land and all legendary creatures onto the battlefield so the only cards that aren't legendary is bond of revival and our diligent excavator so there's only eight cards that the vow will potentially whiff on the rest it's gonna hit so let's just say you cast it on turn six, look at the top four, and it's all land. Then all of that land is going to go into the battlefield. So you're getting a ramp by four on turn six. Crazy. You instantly got ten mana to do this next time for, you know, stupid. Um, but the way we can cast this for more than six in a sort of you know, crazy looping way is with that Mox Amber. So we, we trigger Kethis, we loop a volume of these Mox Ambers in, and then we cast this for some stupid volume and then look at majority of our deck and just put it all out. And then when we put our Bond and our Excavators in the graveyard, we use Temio to just pluck it back and play it as we need. So this definitely, definitely does wonders. And the Atatra, the way that this works with the Kethis combo deck, I'm surprised that this was not put in in the first place. Basically, because you're putting so much of your library into the graveyard, then when she attacks and gets a trigger, she gets shuffled into a very thin deck. So you are pretty much got an endless number of copies of her in that sort of sense. It's not going to loop endlessly, but I'm just saying that four copies could potentially really be eight. You know, like you get one attack in, she's back in the deck, and you've still got all four copies in there. So it's pretty crazy how it combos in with this. But the Flibbledip and Lazav work really good. You can copy a Flibbledip if it's in the graveyard, and then they can't target him, right? So if they want to target your Lazav, you turn him into a Flibbledip, and then he gets shuffled back into the library. So that's like semi-protection in a way. You're not going to copy him and block, obviously, but you know that's pretty much a loop that I didn't see earlier. We have 
the Bonda Revival here to only target a Tatra. We're pretty much only going to be trying to get her from the graveyard and attack with haste to get her trigger and win. And you'd be surprised how quickly you can get this to happen. You will be swinging in with her and getting her trigger more often than you would expect. And that's what is going to win us the game in the first place. And then, you know, we've got the Kethis combo as on the back burner, which the way it translates when you're piloting it is actually really smooth. You can be in the middle of trying to get your Tatra combo going. And let's just say they jank us. They board wire or they fill their side of the board and they're about to swing and go wide, we can kind of sw switch gears and go to our Kethis combo and just start looping all of the value back from our graveyard and just having all of our hand actually be the graveyard, which is quite amazing because the whole time we're focused on the Tatra, they're focused on trying to prevent that or win before we can get that to happen. So their mind just slips on the fact that we can just Kethis and get everything back. So I think the amount of times that this catches them off guard because Kethis combo, let's face it, it only really goes one direction. You're going to be looping that Mox Amber over and over so you can loop as many of the Oath Kai's as possibly can and just win through drain and gain. Like you're gaining three life, doing three damage. And that's the win con. So, you know, like realistically, I feel like it can't deviate too far from that. Otherwise, it's just not going to combo off in time. By putting the Atacha in here and the Lazav as a main win con, it just really relieves that from happening. And by the time you can do that, it actually potentially will win you the game. And that's, I think, a better build for the Kethis. The fellow, I don't know who built this deck. I shamefully have not done my research, but genius, absolute genius brain. Like he put this together over X amount of time and it is just brilliant design, brilliant pieces put together just in the biggest jigsaw I've ever seen and it just loops, looping machine. So I absolutely shout out to the fellow who built this um, and the way that he has built it I can see why it is instantly a troubled, troublesome deck for other players. But I have enjoyed immensely tweaking it and putting in these things. And to be honest, everyone who's running Kethis, as soon as there's a mirror match, it's anyone's game the whole time and you both know what you're doing. By adding these other things in here that really can catch a mirror match off guard, you know, by a Tatra and exiling their Kethis, boom, completely done. Filling our whole side of the board with a bunch of things just throws their game plan, throws their math. So this is well equipped to sort of verse most decks. The things that struggles against is the mono red calamity because you have to then start racing, obviously. But if you verse anything with graveyard hate, like if they drop their own Ashiok and exile your graveyard, you are in struggle town. So it is very weak against an Ashiok deck or a graveyard hate deck where they're just getting rid of your whole graveyard. But the amount of times you come up against them is, you you know, slim to none. So that's pretty much the deck. I mean, you know, there's not much else to really explain. The Diligent ex Excavator is dumping most of the deck for you. We um, are bonding this back in or Lazaving, copying, doing those shenanigans. And our Druidic Vow combined with the Kethis combo can just win us the game. We're going to play half of our deck from the graveyard and then we're going to play half of our deck from the top of the deck. So it does crazy things that they don't see coming. So that's, an, that's the deck. Um, the main concern was the it is four colours. But like I said earlier, by pushing this to the back game, it just relieves that headache and becomes so much more focused on the plan of a touch of Lazav. And to be honest, that is a much more enjoyable win con. So l much less sort of legwork with the triggers and it sort of decomplicates how you have to be on your game with this. You have to be quickly going through all the triggers and the, the way you win with this uh, Kethis deck was always very tricky and you had to pilot it for a while to really be comfortable but yeah this just relieves that and gives it that 
extra stretching room in the early game and I really feel like it plays a big role so want your opinion I'd love your opinion if you build this or if you see something I'm not or if you have a suggestion most certainly hit me up in the comments or anything like that so that's the deck I'm gonna stop chin flapping now and let you guys check out some gameplay but before I go make sure you check out my channel because I've just done a bunch of spring cleaning I've tidied it all up for your convenience and I've also linked all of my social media stuff on there so you can now hit me up on Facebook Twitter Twitch Discord Discord, and you can support the channel through Patreon. So don't forget to like and subscribe because that really is helping me out in this early stage of content creation. And hit the little bell notification because I am going to be going crazy bonkers. Soon as this Throne of Eldraine drops, I'm going to be doing deck tech after deck tech after deck tech. And if you don't want to miss a single, single one, hit that little bell button definitely subscribe and message me message me pm me if you don't want it to be in public forum and let me know if you want me to build a deck if you want to verse me live or not live anything i'm super keen for some community feedback and i would love to sort of you know start creating content more focused around what you guys want to see but i don't know what you want to see so definitely message me and hit me up but enough chin flapping enjoy the games nocturnal duck out okay i'll keep this because we're gonna draw We just hope to dig out a land. A green land. Well, it's a land. Sure. Okay, so I think now we look for a Where are you? Lazav. Ooh, that kinda sucked. Yep. Um. No blocks. What do we have in here? Nothing. We have nothing in here for Bond. Need to find this bond. All of my mox ambers. <laughs> What's going on? It's just dumping everything I need in the graveyard, not giving me a single green land again. None of my pieces. Sure. No blocks. My God, this is annoying. Well, there's Kedis. Not that that really matters. Come on, let me look at my shit. Um, so what can we get rid of? Nothing. Oh, I'm just in disbelief. Seriously. 
cannot believe that we don't have any green. Oh. It'd be nice if the magic algorithm I whinge about all the time would just not be so severe, not be so punishing. Like I won so many matches in my live stream, now I'm just losing every single match and it's nothing to do with the deck. I ran this in my live stream and won back to backs. <clears throat> so it just goes, oh you've won a couple so how about you lose about four or five back to back. And I don't, I'm, look, no green, again no green. And look what we have in our graveyard. Absolutely nothing that we can do. What a waste. Can't use him straight away. Okay, so what do we have in here that we can cast? Got a couple of Mox Ambers, we can get rid of a Lazav and an Ashiok, but then we can't cast them. Fucking amazing, isn't it? So amazing. I've got so much green in this deck, so much green in this deck, for three cards. Three cards that are green and I can't get them. Yep, <clears throat> whatever. One, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven. Can we do some shenanigans here? No land. Um. Yeah. Cool. See if we can pull this into a win somehow. That's pretty cool. Well, he's can't do anything straight away. What are we going to try and get? Ooh, yeah, I can see what we're going to do here. <coughs> Okay, so let's exile this and a f Ashiok. Okay, so now we can go Moxie Boy.
We'll go white. Okay. Yes. We'll go black. And then we can trigger this again. And we shall exile a flipper dip and another flipper dip. <laughs> okay. Well, he didn't want to stick around, I can see. He seen that we were just going to loop and loop and loop and loop, but we're running out of time real quick there. That was good. <laughs> oh man, I was getting so frustrated with my land. Well, let's have another game. I'm going to keep this. We don't have any green. Oh, no. We don't have any green again. So that sucks, but whatevs. So we can Lazav next turn, putting us a little bit further on lawn. Now we got three mana. Oh, yes, please. Tatra straight in the graveyard. This is what was happening in my ranked videos. Change you to green, that's what we need. Sure. My god, this is nice. Okay, so one down. There we go. And we've got a Lazav back in the graveyard, and next turn we can bond our thing out. Oh, well we can't actually, we still need another land. I wonder if he's going to put a target down for us. Yes, he is. Okay, next turn we're going to get rid of something good. Probably that guy. Okay. We've got one card in the graveyard. <laughs> we'll get rid of that guy. We don't want you ramping. Are you crazy? So, two down. Literally one card in the graveyard. So now we'll go for a... I guess a vow. It's probably the best one. Oh, I could have gained three life then. Vow. There you are. Oh my god, there's our other. One, two, three, four. Oh, we nearly had enough to do it that turn to, as well. So he's probably going to go for the um, Tamiyo. Are you going to get rid of my Moxamba, buddy? And then proliferate. Eight. That's cool. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this was so sweet. Alright, good game, buddy. 
So that's what the deck's trying to do. That's the win con. I'm glad that it came out the way it did. That was probably the best example I've gotten so far. So, on to another game. We are keeping this. My god, we are keeping this. We need the blue down. No, Moxie Boy. We want Moxie Boy. Yes, please. Hmm. That's not too bad. Oh, I thought we could have done that then. Um, oh, yeah, we can't even do that, can we? Get another card draw here. Ooh, the valve. That's pretty good. So we got four land, five land if we have her out and untap. Six land if we get another land next turn. Get some things in the graveyard. Okay. Cool, we'll just leave her at seven. We've got our blocker. If he kills him. We're kind of tuned because next time we're going to get some stuff back. If we get a land, that's pretty good. Although we don't need a land, do we? Yeah. You're going to offer that. For sure. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Um, three, four, five. Do we go for five or do we try and dig up something here? What do we got in here? We could get back. And I guess we don't really have anything dice, do we? Three, four, five. So that'd only be for three. Yeah, I think we get this out. So, I think now we can have a look for, maybe not a Moxie, okay, I think we look for a Lazav, alright, that is our Kethis combo, we should look for a Bond, that's for sure. Well, next turn, we'll get a Bond back. And swing in if we get a land. We s oh no, no, we should be all right. Unless he can kill the Kiora. Mm, still got two mana. Okay. Yep. Can't do that. Tamio stops it. So who are you gonna attack now? Yeah, that's cool. Bond. Although Bond is not really going to help us here, is it? We can't exile that. Three, four, five. Do we get rid of his staff? I think we could probably go the vow. 
Green, green, one, two, three. So yeah, I think we just do this. So one, two. Could not choose the um, I guess that's good. Mm, yep. Yeah. And turn. So I want him to commit more to the board before I do the Ruin. And we could probably do our Kethis next turn and start actually getting some of this stuff back. But I want him to put down a target for our Etatra. That's the main thing. So he's going to swing in here. Oh. Okay, so what do we have? Turn him into that. Sweet. Problem is we still don't have a target for our toucher. Huh? Okay, so at this stage I feel like we have to do this. Okay, so what do we got? One, two, we don't have anything to cast there. He didn't like that, I know he didn't. Awesome, now we have a target. It touch up, please. Yeah, get rid of that. So next turn we will vow, because then we can get it all back with uh, Kethis. So this is what I mean about Kethis being a late game sort of gear change. We haven't needed to use him. Okay, that's fine. We'll get shuffled. Green. Green. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so yes, 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 and a yes. All five cards, five mana. Five cards. Okay, so what do we have in here? Probably the bond we get back. Okay, so we are pretty set.
Okay, that sucks. Do we have a stitcher supply in here? We do. Okay. Is it going to work? No, he whiffed. Holy crappers. Oh, nice. So, do we have a touch it in there? We do. Mm, yes, please. We got a block. And get rid of him. So that's two down. we could go probably another moxie Temio is probably better <laughs> oh my god all of my bonds all of the bonds um, yeah I want to see what answers he has Get rid of the mocks, that's okay. Yep. My turn. Do we have an attach in here? We do. Yep. Next to combat. <laughs> they always scoop. I hope you enjoyed the matches. I just wanted to show you a few little tinkerings that I did along the way. So I took out the four diligent excavators and replaced them with three stitches supplier and one Urza's ruinous blast. Oh yeah. And then took out the two Ashiox because it was just dribbling along and replaced it with the two Kioras. And as you see in game one, I get quite frustrated about missing my green land. So she's in here to just turn the Mox Amber green for us and also untap it and give us a bit of ramp, untap land, all that sort of stuff get us to turn five a lot smoother so she holds a place she just bridges the gap with all of our colors it is a four color deck so she can help sort of just smooth it over so that's the changes that i made and i feel like they kind of helped quite a lot <laughs> so let me know what you think hit me up in the comments like subscribe follow and don't forget that you can go onto my channel now and hit me up on facebook twitter twitch and discord and patreon i've just linked it all up so for your convenience you can reach out to me privately you don't have to do it in any sort of public manner but if you do hit me up in the comments i'd love to hear from you i'm about to go nuts with this throne of eldraine when it drops i plan on locking myself in the room for a straight month and just dedicating all of that time solely to magic. So if you don't want to miss a single moment, if you don't want to miss any of those decks, because I'm going to be, like, I can't even express it properly, I'm going crazy with deck decks. So if you don't want to miss any of it, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that bell. But until next time, Nocturnal Duck out.